Because I'm pretty sure dying would suck. Anyway, let's take care of this goddamn camera because I'm pretty sure this is the last research level we need for this particular variety of uh, enemy. And I'm, I think we can get it here because I've already done this before. Like I said, I had to record all of this again, which is so dumb. All right, so we're done with the camera for good. Now we got the turrets and I think the bouncer and the little sister and we'll be pretty much good to go. Uh, you can get rid of this asshole with the crossbow. God damn it. Should have reloaded after I shot this one, but whatever. We'll take that. And then we got ourselves a nice little thing here. Oh, no. God damn it. Urgh. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated right now because I pressed A after I did it again, so we're probably going to hear the other one. Sorry. <laughs> what a witty comment, and then please... God damn it, I didn't want to listen to this again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just going to cut the noise on that because we've already heard this before, and every time you pick up an audio diary that you've already... that plays automatically and you hold a the last one will play so it's replaying itself again which is really goddamn irritating head over here we got ourselves some nice things a corpse with things on it uh okay got proximity mine with a safe next to it so let's go ahead and take that all right thank you for the for that god that's so irritating please let me remember not to do Ooh, i hear something i hear someone where you at? Where you at, big boy? See, I've come to notice that the crossbows was like, kind of like the sniper of this game, which I kind of like because it's like it's like good. It's like the long shot in Gears of War. I don't know. I liked using the long shot. I never did the pussy thing, though, where I would like, you know, use the action reload and then just shoot them in the foot or something so that they were downed and then I'd go over and punch them and then teabag their body because they were next to cover and shit like that. But I think there's actually a splicer here on the floor, like on the underside of our floor. There's that asshole. <laughs> All right, you know what, man? You're you're gonna you're gonna die. Ugh, shit, that did more damage to me, but at least we killed him. At least, at the very least, we got that dang ass motherfucker. Okay, so we got another one. God damn it! All right, Andrew Ryan. Where else could we build an economy that they would not try to control? A society that they would not try to destroy? It was not impossible to build Rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. I don't know about you guys, but I think Andrew Ryan easily has the best lines in this entire game. Like, I'm not even kidding you. He's got, like, the coolest things. Oh, what is that asshole doing? Wow, stupid Houdini splicer. We're done researching your cherry ass. Now get over here so I can kill you. I don't know. I, I don't think he just disappears for a while until we come back to this area. <sighs> okay, so anyway, over here. Uh, little sister, there you are. Okay, good. I was hoping you'd be here because usually they only appear when you turn around the corner and then they leave as you get there. So good to get some pictures. I think this should be the last, last picture we have of them. I don't know where she's going, but we can go ahead and... Uh, you know, we got ourselves a nice corpse here, nice shotgun, a power to the people station. I don't even care, but we'll go ahead and take this one because uh, we've got still kind of a lot. We get a lot in this area, so I think just for the hell of it, I don't know what I want to do. I kind of want to do the crossbow, but then I just kind of need to finish some other stuff off. So for the most part, we got the machine gun that we're going to finish off. Then we got ourselves a nice little gift here with four Eve hypos, of course, and the proximity mines. Luckily, I used those. Wait, I didn't. Oh, I used oh, all of them except for one. That works. So anyway, the assassin. All right. I'm yonder, Stotter. Oh, I missed. Fucking Christ. <laughs> How do you find out whether or not you're an assassin? Huh. So anyway, okay, now that we've pretty much exhausted everything we need to do here, um, and I did decide, I already did say we're going to do the plasmids in the next level. We're going to head off into this place because uh, this is where we have to go first. It's the heat loss monitoring, and there's going to be a lot more shit for us to do here. This place is fairly easy. It's probably one of the more open levels where you 
you know you don't have to do what you did in like you know arcadia where it's everything's just a backtrack mission oh god it's dark what are we gonna do you guys what's going on man so regardless of what you do oh my god that body was gone i think that was weird things are very strangely uh manipulated when in the dark huh I don't really know uh, was it? I think this blue body right there. It's like, oh, hey. Uh, well. Hmm. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, my God. It's gone. You guys, that's a little bit scary. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my own protection with me. We got ourselves a nice little exhaust tank. We're going to go shoot some bitchin' bodies. And I think this one should probably be good. All right. So, right over there, that blue body. Ooh. I missed him, I think. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Now, I hope they're both dead now. Are you gonna? Nope, he's not gonna die. There, nope. There. <laughs> Here, let me hit your, tip my hat to you. Ooh, there we go. And okay, there. <sighs> okay, it's not really right there. This guy fell the fuck down in the wheels. Can we get him? Can we save him? A termite at Versailles. See, that is a badass, if not incredibly. Over dramatic <laughs> personization, person. What is that personification of me? Okay, so over here, this is where we can fight another big daddy. I'm fairly certain. Actually, I know this for a fact. See, I already knew this like particular area, like from the get go. But fuck. Okay, this one right here. Yes, Kibruz. So this asshole right here is gonna come alive. God damn it. I was hoping to kill him. Okay, so yes, that is kind of a foreshadow to what's coming next. Because we are going to be raiding the office of Sir um, Kibruz here shortly. And his password is the easiest one in the world. So, okay, there's the big daddy. Alright, so we got our proximity mines from the little sister. Oh, she's ready for dream time. Okay, so let's finish up. Because we've got a couple things. Okay, so hopefully if, if the gods are in our favor... Uh, these guys will be coming upstairs rather than going downstairs. I hate fighting them while they're down here because it's so annoying. Because it's so open and up here you can kind of get a vantage point. So we're going to go ahead and probably get this body that we just killed if there's nobody else around here. Hopefully not. Because enemies do have the tendency to, to fuck around with you when you're shooting those proximity mines. I really hope that that does not happen here because I think in a scrapped recording actually I was using it and I was doing this tactic and then just some fucking spider splicer came out of nowhere and fucked it up for me so all right when they come up the thing I'm go ahead and shoot a bunch of frag grenades down the hallway i usually do it while they're down the stairs but i'm a little late so we'll have to go ahead and hope that it's not a boy okay are you ready man okay and now for nope nope the grenade launcher there we go all right awesome okay so, ooh, this guy this guy came a little quick didn't he oh okay oh shit that one was bad uh, oh god please god i hate being so fucking stuck all right uh, Yes, God, I fucking love this automatic shotgun. Okay, Electro Bolt on the Big Daddy. Something we haven't done in a while. Okay, now a little bit more Electro Bolts. All right, so, all right, we've got this. All right, come on. I dare you. I dare you, Mr. Big Daddy. Are you Are you going to come at me? Ugh. Oh, woo, that almost killed me. Okay, that was really close to killing me. Okay, I like, I like finishing him off with the pistol because it's so fucking epic to, like, shoot him as he's running at you and then have him die. You know, when you have the shotgun, they go flying backwards. Or the machine gun, they just kind of tumble over. But with the pistol, it's so exhilarating because they're still going forward with such force that the pistols... Oh, hey, check me out. I'm a big daddy. Get it? Get it. Oh, never mind. You don't get it. <laughs> you do get it because you've played this game. If you haven't played this game, I feel sorry for you. This is, well, not really. This isn't like one of those most must-play must, must play games of all time. But I think it's worth at least, you know, checking out in some form or another, you know, to be to not have ever heard of this game or even cared to know about it. It's just ignorance in my eyes. So, down here we've got ourselves a couple more things we're going to collect. Bodies to loot. And, okay, bodies to loot. Oh, God. That's a frag grenade. And, oh, damn it, I drank an entire bottle of beer without even wanting to. Oh, me Irishness. Okay, God, I just watched that one, <laughs> the one Scrubs episode with fucking. God damn it! I thought that was the one that comes alive. The Scrubs episode with Colin Farrell. That one was the funniest. 
He's so Irish. Okay, and then right, this one has to be it, isn't it? Is it? God damn it! You are the one. I swear to God, you were not there last time. Whatever. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We got a pet bar on the floor, file cabinet with some syringes in it, and we can also pick up this body that has electric gel and napalm, which is why I wanted to use it. Wow, 71 and we still can't carry. That is so much. When they are dropping like a fourth of our capacity for ammo in like random spots. Oh, this thing right here. Uh -oh. He sounds familiar. <gasps> oh my god! The ghost just got killed by a flary electric water. Okay, that wouldn't work in a Pokemon game. Alright, so we have to go ahead and you actually do have to use your hacking skills on this, which is difficult. Alright, and then we can go inside the water and not die. So this is the body of the man that was brutally betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. See, I love Andrew Ryan. He's he's like kind of like the weirdest villain in a sense, but he's not really a villain. I mean, when you think about it, he's just like a politician almost. Like I don't I don't really want to get into too much detail about it, but I also love that his audio diaries are fairly short. The ones that drag on like fucking Tenenbaum, it gets really irritating. Listen, Alice is just talking your. It's like Navi, pretty much. God. So, Nick Donog especially, this guy fucking paragraphs. Because it's a scene, not a goddamn arms race. Okay, now over here is the final area that we needed to get to. Um, so let's see what we got down here. Yet another audio diary that is highlighted for us in all of its glory. Thank you, Pablo. I only pressed A for that one, so. Security evasion. Ooh, we might be using this for later. She's played her cards pretty close to the list, but you ain't gotta be no college job to see that she's into some bad China. She was asking about magnetic locks and some such. I played it coy, but she took wise. After she showed me round her backyard, I gave her directions to keyboards tool shop. Rapture's gone to hell, but sometimes the great change. God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna have to head off to the workshops now because we're done with heat loss monitoring. God damn it, can we please just kill this? Ah, oh shit, armor, piercing rounds, don't. See, uh, see, I wish these guys were weak against them. It's the worst. This guy is gonna fuck me up, isn't he? Ugh, there. Fuck. Well, luckily we have so much money. Look at this guy gave us $33. That is like two first aid kits right there. It's it's so over the top. All right, this asshole's getting in the face with the lead bouncer. Yes, who's your daddy now? I don't know. <laughs> who's your daddy? That's such a 90s phrase. Okay, so let's go. See, we find so much shit in this goddamn game that it's just you just become so well endowed, you know, both figuratively and literally. So, okay, so we got nothing there. All right, so now we're gonna have to head off to the main hub, head off to the workshops, and then we'll be able to continue on in making our bomb there. A man builds a city at the bottom of the sea. That's oh. a bomb. Another man happens to be in the plane <gasps> that crash lands on the same city in the middle of the ocean. Coincidence, man. That sounds more like. A Ooh. So yeah, we're oh, there's a big daddy here, but I doubt he has a little sister. Um, I hear someone, but we're gonna take pictures of him. I don't think he has a little sister, so of course we're gonna have to wait for him. And shortly we'll be done with this area since we only have two areas to go to. So this isn't a very long area if you know what you're doing. It's just kind of large, and I you, I typically take a little bit longer as you guys have been able to tell so far. So uh, you guys wanna hunt a little big daddy with? Oh, there's that asshole right there. Did we got him? We got that spider's blaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for your money. Okay. So he's gonna be up there. He's gonna grab the little sister. All right, let's go hunt some big daddies. 